Assalamu alaikum. If you're new here, my name is Omar Abdullah, content creator and a student of knowledge. My goal is to share authentic Islamic knowledge in a bite-sized, digestible chunks. If you're loving this content, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. Ashhadu Assalamu alaikum. Today, I wanted to talk about the nature of the jinns. Throughout history, man has always had a deep attraction for the supernatural and the unseen. The existence of a world parallel to our own has always fascinated people. This world is commonly referred to as the spirit world. And almost every set of people have some concept of them. For some people, these spirits are no more than the souls of dead people or ghosts. With others, these spirits are either the forces of good or the forces of evil, both battling against one another to gain influence over humanity. However, both of these explanations are more in tune with folk tales and fantasy. The true explanation of such a world only comes from Islam. Here are the six facts about the jinns. Number one, created from smokeless fire. We can find in the Quran, وَخَلَقَ الْجَنَّ مِن مَارِجٍ مِن نَارٍ And he, Allah, created the jinn from a smokeless flame of fire. وَالْجَانَّ خَلَقَنَاهُ مِنْ قَبْلُ مِنْ نَارِ السَّمُومِ And the jinn we created before from scorching fire. Number two, the jinn and the sons of Adam. Every individual of the sons of Adam has a jinn who has been appointed to be his constant companion, or Qarin. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there is not one of you who does not have a jinn appointed to be his constant companion. Number three, jinns have special powers. Allah has given the jinns power that he has not given to humans. Allah has told us about some of their powers, such as the ability to move and travel quickly. There are different kinds of jinn. Among them are some who can take on different forms, such as dogs and snakes and some of them fly most of the time. Number four, dwelling places of the jinns. The jinns live on this earth where we do. They are mostly to be found in ruins and unclean places like bathrooms, dunghills, garbage dumps, etc. Hence, the Prophet wasallam has taught us to take precautions when entering such places by reciting adhkar prescribed by Islam. An example would be a dua before entering a bathroom. Bismillah. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubthi wal khaba'ith. In the name of Allah. O oh Allah, I seek protection in you from the male and female shayating. Number five, Muslim or kafir. Allah tells us that some of the jinn said, وَأَنَّ مِنَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ وَمِنَ الْقَاسِتُونَ فَمَنْ أَسْلَمَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ تَحَرَّوا رَشَدًا And among us are Muslims, and among us are Al-Qasitun, or disbelievers. And whoever has embraced Islam, then such have sought the right path. Number six, protection from the jinns. Because the jinn can see us while we cannot see them, the Prophet ﷺ taught us many ways to protect ourselves from their harm, such as reciting Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas, saying Bismillah before entering one's home, before eating and drinking, etc. The jinns are beings created with free will, living on earth in a world parallel to mankind. The Arabic word jinn is from the verb Jannah, which means to hide or to conceal. 
Thus, they are physically invisible from man as their description suggests. Wala wa'alam and Allah knows best.